Good afternoon, friends. Welcome back to the channel. Hitchhiking Yeti here. And I'm out here at Carolina Beach Lake and I'm fixing to take a little walk over into the downtown area of Carolina Beach. This is the first weekend of the month of June. Beautiful day, absolutely gorgeous day today. About 76 degrees, very little humidity. Very rare for this time of year. Normally right now it's well up in the 80s with a lot of humidity and hot steamy nights. But this year is a little bit different, a little bit different. So with last week being Memorial Day week, kind of a wash not a lot of fun for a lot of people I'm, uh, i know that come down here hoping for a great vacation they got a lot of rain and wind and almost tropical storm like weather at times so uh today we're gonna walk down look at some restaurants see how many people is uh here today just visiting or here on a saturday and kind of look at the crowd levels check out some places to eat some uh maybe some places you would like to eat i'm going to kind of give you some of my favorite places to eat when i'm here in town so uh let's get walking we got a lot to cover today should be a lot of fun the sun's out it's beautiful and we are also much closer to summertime let's go have some fun and look at some cool stuff today so if you're down here at the carolina beach lake area this is pretty cool they have a little map of the town more or less and right here is our location we're here at their lake and you can see they have like the boardwalk area right here is the ship docks where you can go deep sea fishing things of that nature and in the evening this is a good place to go to watch the ships when they come in to see what they have caught for the day so that's pretty awesome and they have a little legend over here at the side that gives you an idea of what everything is that you're seeing they have symbols spread out across the map so that's pretty cool so now let's head in this direction and get our walk around started all right friends so right over here is the carolina beach park where we started our walk and the first restaurant we're going to look at today is the hang ten grill which i think is an excellent place to come if you like hamburgers and uh they, they got really good fish tacos they use mahi mahi that's a really delicious place so uh just remember that when you're in carolina beach if you like those items give hang ten a grill a try every once in a while So while I'm sitting there showing you the Hang Ten Grill restaurant, all of a sudden out of nowhere, my wife nudges me and say, by the way, let's go to Hang Ten Grill and let's eat today. This is where we're gonna eat our lunch. So uh, we went in there, had a couple burgers. I try to put them in right here, let you see them. I actually ordered the uh, the day after burger, which has bacon and a fried egg on it. And uh, it's really good. It's always really good. It's such a good burger. And my wife's burger actually had pineapple on it. And she loved it. It had pineapple and some kind of like hang tin sauce on it. And she said it was amazing. I took a bite out of it and it was really good. The pineapple was kind of sweet. And that hang tin sauce was like, it was pretty spicy. And uh, that spice and that sweetness really went well together and uh, made for a good dish. So if you're ever at the hang tin grill, give their pineapple burger a try and uh see what you like if you like pineapples you know but uh all in all let's keep moving we got a lot of stuff to look at and next up is the ice cream shop it's pretty good here in carolina beach it's been around for a while wow look at the traffic coming down the boulevard here in carolina beach summertime she's a coming it's getting quite busy so right here on the corner of lake park boulevard and fayetteville avenue is our ice cream shop and this is called Squiggly's. Squiggly's Ice Cream. Very popular destination here in Carolina Beach for their sweet treats. So Squiggly's is pretty cool. They actually have this gift shop. They have some signage right here. Telling you that the gift shop is open and it is upstairs. So a lot of times when you come here, you go in this bottom door, you get your, get your ice cream in there. And they have all kinds. They have a Squiggly machine that like kind of turns things if you've ever ate like a blizzard uh, dairy queen before it's very similar to that you pick you know reese's peanut butter cups or different varieties of candies and you can uh, pick out your flavor ice cream they put in this machine and it binds it all together and it comes out almost like a soft serve kind of very more soft type of ice cream it's not like a hand dip even though it starts out hand dip and it's really good and i always get mine in a waffle cone and it's really cool when you finish I don't know if they still do it or not, but used to they used to put a, a sticker on your shirt and say you've been squiggled. So that is this place, Squiggly's Ice Cream and Treats in Shops. The shopping gallery would be right up these steps here to the second level. 
and they have all kind of trinkets up there in uh you know kind of a uh real beachy stuff that you would buy so really cool place to go to squiggly's ice cream so right here on the corner of lake park boulevard and charlotte avenue is this place this is called kate's pancake house and this has been a staple a mainstay here in carolina beach for quite a long time now and it is a very popular spot and uh i really like the artwork they have over here it's like an umbrella of pancakes with the uh, butter and like the syrup and all the all the items breakfast items kind of floating around and that's pretty cool because they do have some good pancakes i have ate my fair share of kate's pancake house pancakes so just to show you how popular it is this is the entrance it's it is really if you get here super early you might can just walk in i mean somebody's got to walk in at some point but once it starts filling up 8 30 9 o'clock somewhere in that range people will be sitting out here and at least they do have shelter now they have some overhangs to uh keep the sun off of you and then as you can see right down here they have this area which this is somewhat new i don't really remember this being here last time i was here which has been a few years but they have some more seating over here now and it's located also right next to that place the old deck house which is uh, no longer with us it's not open anymore and if you watch my last vlog here at carolina beach i told you a haunting story <laughs> about that place and i was shocked because i never heard that story before but i shared it with you because i've seen it online and i thought it was an interesting story so if you've not seen that video i will put a link in the description below and go back and watch that vid and listen to my deck house story of what happened in this place a few years ago really cool all right let's keep moving we want to we want to look at stuff that's actually open and uh still operational so we're going to head on down the way here and uh at some point we're going to cross across the road because we got some stuff back in there in the boardwalk area we got to look at before we end this thing today and that's right it wouldn't be a hitchhiking yeti video at carolina beach when we're talking about restaurants and establishments to go inside and buy beverages or whatever we got to show the fat pelican look at the antlers up there yeah high noon baby and then look at the windmill look it's the golf clubs <laughs> i love this place this place is so cool more golf clubs all along the top kind of making a a you know part of the fence now and then up there is the octopus that is so cool this place is awesome it's so rad it's got so much pulse to it you know or, this place always reminds me of like it is like a bar it's a bar but it's it's like almost like a wax museum with a pulse you know that's kind of what it's like so i'm standing right here in front of the fat pelican and it is very you know it's a telling tale right now how many people is at carolina beach look at all the parking all the traffic that's paid parking I think it's a bank and five dollars an hour or what is it 25 dollars a day or something like that it is packed here at the first part of june wait wait wait, wait why I want to go across the road. Wait. Don't tell me to wait. So now I'm over here on the corner of Cape Fear Boulevard and North Lake Park Boulevard. And right here we have Havana's Restaurant, which is a very good place to go eat. I've always enjoyed my meals at this place. It's just, I don't know, it's just the, the vibe, the outdoor seating. You can stand, you can actually uh, eat up here on this like patio areas very nice and then they have another uh kind of an enclosed area but it's still outside on the back side you go down some steps and uh this place here has really got some really good food and uh, i've never had anything that i was disappointed with great service and check out havana's a little pricey but all in all a great experience this kind of give you an idea how the tables are actually set up out here it's just got a nice beach vibe to it and I love all the flowers and all the greenery. It almost makes you at times feel like you're eating in the Garden of Eden. <laughs> so right here is Havana's. And if I just kind of pan 
right across the street you have this place this is the shuck and shack and oyster bar and then right next to that you have the dive and these two places right here even though i've not been in them i've never tried them before but they're very popular they got to be popular for a reason you know definitely don't sleep on them give them a try if you're into this type of stuff i have heard the dive has really good chicken wings i've never tried them i want to maybe this is the summer i'm going to make time to go into the dive and try and try their chicken wings out sometime if you have tried the shuck and shack or the dive put in the comment section down below what did you think about it you know was it is it a place that you frequently go or is it a place that you tried one time and maybe you will never go back again i'd be curious to uh to hear what you got to say so the next place up is el cazador mexican restaurant always smells so good out here if you're into if you're a big mexican food eater definitely try that out they have some really cool seating upstairs here where you can sit on this balcony and eat your food and watch the strip here in downtown carolina beach now i'm making my way across north park boulevard and i'm walking fast because people drive very aggressively on the street sometimes but uh i want to take you right across the street from el cazador and show you another restaurant it's like an old 50s restaurant it's called pops and uh they have some pretty good food in there i gotta admit they have one of my best one of my favorite hamburgers is right here in pops one of them just a regular single patty hamburger you can't go wrong with pops and this is pops location and this here is the outside it says pops on it and it just looks like one of those old 1950s diners with the overhang and inside we're not going to go inside today but it's very 50s style you'll see elvis presley stuff in there you know they have like a jukebox type of music going on and it says uh pops and then you got hot dogs burgers and wings never tried wings here before but every time i come i always get their uh their hamburger and they actually have a burger inside it's called the triple bypass three patties yes three patties of, of beef on that burger and when you put the cheese and everything on that thing it looks like a heart attack i mean it is insane looking but uh i've never tried one my wife won't let me do it the biggest burger she'll let me get when i go in there is the double but uh i think it's called the double dinky but it ain't dinky you know but uh it's really good really good so good place to go if you like that type of food and they have some very interesting uh like side stuff to eat like uh i think they had like deep fried twinkies or oreos or something like that i can't remember exactly but yeah they have some good stuff in there definitely go check out pops so now i've made my way down canal drive and now i'm on the corner of canal drive and harper avenue as you can see we have the crush and grind coffee shop right here in front of us and i'm going to make my way across this very busy road and we're going to go back here on the boardwalk area and i'm going to show you a few more places to eat here at the beach it's pretty good wow this is something that's definitely changed i don't know exactly when but this is the first time i've noticed this this used to be where the carolina beach uh lifeguards used to store a lot of their equipment and stuff before they go out here on the beach and uh, protect people and help people and uh but now it's a sales and service for rentals for electric bikes that is something that's kind of cool and they actually have a little chalkboard or blackboard out here it says sunset special only 50 dollars pick up an e-bike from 6 to 7 p.m return following a.m so there you go electric bicycles taking over and i've already seen quite a few of these today I got you. and they got a bunch of them so the next place up is this place right here this here is the carolina smokehouse they have barbecue and brisket and they have some really good spicy kind of like a buffalo wing sauce draped all over there very deep fried shrimp that i really enjoy this is an excellent spot to come eat they have downstairs dining and they have the upstairs dining where you can get a view of the atlantic ocean why you eat that is always a great dining option and then right here next to that you have buzz's roost and look at the crowd of people at buzz's roost eating and taking in some of their delicious meals well one of these days i'm gonna learn how to look at a calendar before i come out here and do a vlog 
there is a crowd of people and the boardwalk is totally kind of shut off like you really can't go down through there and sit in the swings and stuff today why because i forgot at the first weekend of june i think it's the music festival and they're rocking it out they're down there blasting that stuff. I was trying to figure out why there was so much loud music down there on the boardwalk. And it's because they have a live band playing. So uh, little did I know. But hey, it's okay. It's all good. At least I'm getting to see the music festival today. So you see right here where you have that green roof. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. And that is actually the stage where the bands play during the music festival. Right there. And they are rocking out. And just look at the crowd of people and all the canopies and tents and stuff is set up out here today. And also, if that ain't enough, somebody's actually gonna get married today. They have a wedding that's gonna be going on here on the beach. And that's kind of special to me because guess what? Me and my wife got married on this very beach here in Carolina Beach nine years ago. Almost nine years ago now. Next year will be her 10 year anniversary. So uh, pretty awesome. Man, time flies, don't it? But just look how beautiful the ocean is. It is such a gorgeous beach day. And I mean, everybody, even if you ain't in the, obviously the, 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 the uh, music festival is not all of it because just look down the beach as you go look uh, to the south toward Curie Beach. Look at all the people down through there. It is a crowded, crowded day. I guess all the people who got washed out last weekend decided to make up for it this weekend. And it is just a lot of people down through there. So since this video is mainly about crowd levels here on the weekend, the first weekend of June, and we're looking at places to eat, we cannot come to the boardwalk area without taking a walk down the main drag of the boardwalk and check out if there's anybody eating any Brits donuts today. So let's make sure we do that and we're going there right now. Well, summer is officially here now here on the boardwalk as the Fentoni's Pizzeria has their by the slice windows open and they're serving. That is really, really cool because they got some pretty good pizza in there if you're a fan of good old New York style pizza. And I am a man of my word. I told you I would take you down here to Brits and right here is Brits Donuts where this congregation of people are out front waiting in line to get their tasty sweet treats from Brits Donut Shop. If I wasn't so full, I would totally go in there right now and get me one, but I'm stuffed. So no Brits for me today. Who knows, maybe tomorrow. The sun will come up tomorrow, maybe I'll come back. All right, friends, I have exited the boardwalk area. As you can see, all the parking behind me is full. We're gonna head on down to the Sea Witch area, and then we're gonna make our way over to Car Winter Avenue and check out and see what's going on there, if there's any boats, any people going fishing, see what the crowd level is in that area. And there's a kind of a really good restaurant that I wanna show you over there. Not a restaurant. It's more of a takeout only place. And if you are a fan of hamburgers, particularly, I will go ahead on the record and say, their double cheeseburger is my favorite of, of anywhere I've ever been. I wanna share that with you today because it's kind of hidden in a spot that you wouldn't go to look for a good double cheeseburger. So uh, if you stuck around on the video this long, you might learn something that's, uh, pretty special man i'm standing here right in front of the cabana building and just look at the people look at all that parking full totally full there ain't a whole lot of parking left there's a few spots right here but a lot of places just got a lot i mean there's just a lot of people here this weekend and i realize there's a music little music festival going on that you have to pay admission to get to but I think there's a lot of beach goers too because a lot of these people are i've noticed getting out of these cars are just families you know with kids and stuff and i don't think they're really the music festival crowd plus that music festival should be wrapping up here in the next hour or so but uh it's it's very busy and right here is the sea witch inn hotel and they have the no vacancy sign up so yes it's a very busy weekend and right here is the sea witch cafe and their, uh, I guess that's your Tinky Bar. It used to be called Tiki Bar. And it still is, I see it, Tiki Bar. Not a whole lot going on, but it's still early. In the evening hours, that place really gets ramped up pretty good. And they have a lot of uh, 
a lot of good drinks and some food in there they used to really serve a good steak years ago but uh not been in there in quite some time and i don't even know if the the cafe part is even open anymore i've, I've not, it's been a while since i've seen anything moving around over here but i know the tiki bar is still uh the tiki bar is still alive and well and there ain't too many parking spots to be had at all i'm just beside of the tiki bar which is here and all this is paid parking for beach goers and across the street over here on the oceanfront side is also paid parking and uh, they might be a couple spots in there but it's really not a lot at this time of day it's probably a little right we're getting close to about four o'clock in the evening at this point there is the taco joint there's a place i need to go eat i need to go i love tacos and i love this big old painting they have on the side here it's like it looks like a dang indian out of mortal kombat what was his name night wolf that's what that reminds me of now i'm right here across from the scotchman here in carolina beach and right there is pelican avenue where that white truck's pulling out to give you an idea but they're still doing a lot of construction down here with this big crane i was down here at the first of april into march and it looked pretty much like this but uh looks like they're doing a lot of work do have some boats in the water here got some uh like some floating docks going on but i can't wait to see what this looks like when it's all completed it's going to be really really nice so now i've turned the corner we're on carl winter avenue and this is canal drive right here and uh we're going to make our way as you can see right here we have the gulf stream which has been a restaurant here in carolina beach golly as long as i can remember as long as i've been alive that place has always been there cranking out some pretty good breakfast food and i heard they got some pretty good fish too never tried the fish but i have ate many breakfasts right there in that place you see all those seagulls over there seagulls flock to where there's good food and this old service station is not a service station no more because the gas pumps are gone but now it's just more a convenience store and this is the place i was telling you this little patio over here is an eating area for their hamburgers that they turn out of this place and we're going to walk across the street now get a little bit closer look of the building and some signage and uh this is a hidden secret kinda a lot of people don't know about this i mean it's, it's becoming less of a secret it was more of a secret maybe four years ago but now people people are uh starting to get it so right now i'm on the corner of myrtle avenue and carl winter avenue and right over here is the boat marina and then right here in this area is the islander quick mart and this place is where the hamburgers are hidden away in a corner in this little grill they don't have no indoor seating or anything fancy you just walk in there and order your burger and uh if it's in the summertime on a busy day you better call ahead and order because you might be waiting 45 minutes to an hour i ain't kidding that's how good they are this here is definitely one of my favorite double cheeseburgers if not my favorite i hate to say favorite of anything because you just never know but for right now at this point in my life this place is amazing and this is all it is the islander quick mart right here in carolina beach it used to be a gas station the old gas pumps it used to be right over here on this corner years ago which they've been long gone but and it says up here on the blue signage welcome to island burger and bites and this is it you go inside and you order your burgers and they are fantastic so right here i'm next door right here is the island burgers and bites and right next to it was a long standing hardy's it was here in carolina beach for many years and unfortunately i'm coming by today to pay my respects to the carolina beach hardy's as you can see it is permanently closed it's weird how you get emotionally attached to certain things even though you didn't use them on a day-to-day -day basis it was just kind of a part of the scenery it just made sense to you because it's been there for so long and that's what 
this Hardee's is. You know, I mean, I've been through that drive through many times in the past and, you know, got a sausage biscuit or a sausage neck biscuit or something like that and, uh, and just had a place to go eat some breakfast. But now it's all gone. So next things in mind is like, what's going there? I mean, there's stuff being built all the time. What are they gonna put in there? So right here next to the Celtic Creamery and we're also right in front of McDonald's and the old Hardee's location. You see they have paid parking over here now. Well, in my last Carolina Beach vlog when I was here, I had been reading a story online and seeing some information where we had a new hotel coming. And it seemed like the address said it was gonna be right here in this spot. And it's supposed to open next year, but they, it, at least at this moment, this summer, they've used it for paid parking also. So I'm curious to see now in the future, did I just get bad information or did I read something wrong? Or is this actually gonna turn into that hotel eventually? after they milk a little bit more money out of it so right over here is mcdonald's this is the boulevard here in downtown and then we have this place this is called the celtic creamery and for a long time when i first seen the sign i used to think it was called celtic creamery like the boston celtics but no it's pronounced celtic creamery i was told so uh this is really a good place to go to eat ice cream and definitely my wife's favorite spot the ice cream here on the island is this place and I, i'm gonna go far enough to say probably her favorite place to eat ice cream period because she always compares any other ice cream shop we go to to this one and she was like nah it's just not quite there so this is definitely her favorite and it is a really good place and they have like a a little boutique inside where they you can buy like little beach items and shopping and stuff like that and eat your ice cream they got a little area and then we normally come out here and sit in the outdoor areas on these picnic tables or seats and just hang out and enjoy your ice cream and uh talk about our great beach day we just had check this out fire one it says british fire services association have you ever seen anything like that for that is just too cool check this thing out man that is a classic land rover all right friends we've made our loop around carolina beach look at some places to eat some places i like to go eat definitely check them out if you've never tried them before and uh that's pretty much it i was walking back down this way funny story um <laughs> i uh whew, i was walking just past the fat pelican bar and there's a few other stores or like little places after that and there is this little like hallway between buildings like this little aisleway and I'm walking out through there just minding my own business and all of a sudden there's this old man, really old man, I don't know if he was homeless or what, but he was, <laughs> he was laying down in that hallway taking some shade because the sun is, you know, pretty brutal today, even though it's not a super hot day. You get the sun long enough, you will start, you know, sweating a little bit. And he was laying down smoking an e-cigarette or something and it just startled me. I'm like walking out through there and I'm thinking about vlogging and stuff and all of a sudden you got somebody at your ankles and it was like what the heck you know but uh <laughs> it startled me a little bit kind of kind of a weird place for somebody to hang out and lay down like that but uh it's all good that being said i guess that will conclude my little adventure today i had so much fun i love getting out on days like this when i'm off from work and i have some extra time just to go walk around town and uh get my camera and go out and say hello to people and uh, kind of see what's happening around town so a lot of fun i enjoy sharing that kind of stuff with you i hope you enjoy watching it if so subscribe to the channel it's free don't forget about that and you can hang out with me on my future adventures even if they're not here in town i, I do get around a little bit and like going different places so uh that being said i'm all done i'm the hitchhiking yeti and friends i will see you in the next adventure and it will be soon y'all stay safe out there See you next time.